All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Vlad Mabus podcast called Going Beast Mode on the Toilet. <laughs> and, uh, and here are my two good friends, my well, my co-hosts. I need to come up with an intro for you. I don't know one yet. <laughs> That's okay. I think That's I actually got one. I think I got one. Well, hold on. I need to clear it with you first, just because I don't want to like fucking be like you, like Vlad. What the fuck? <laughs> so I'll text it to you later, and then I'll see if you want to use it or not. Um, and then we got Sacagawea. <laughs> and then also we got Jay in the house. So how are you guys doing? We're doing good, man. Good, dude. Well, very good. <laughs> okay. I told you this earlier, but but for everybody else watching earlier, I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but like earlier, I just I didn't have time to really eat today. Just wasn't like on the on the schedule, and my blood sugar crashed so bad, like that I. Uh, Dude, I just got dizzy, man. I just wanted to lay down where we were. I'm okay now. Obviously, we're here, but but yeah, that's how my day went. That was not fun. See, my day was I went to bed, I think it was at 9, 10 in the morning <laughs> and fucking woke up at like 5. <laughs> so you, you stayed up later than we played to Diablo last night? Yeah, my uh, my schedule is like still on graveyard, so it's oh. like I even tried to like stay up, um, like as long as I could, and because that's usually what I'll do. I, I did it at your guys' house, if you remember, is I try to stay up as long as I fucking can and just deprive myself of sleep. So then I'll fucking just can just fucking fall oh, asleep yeah. and then True. yeah, so savage dude. We played and saw what four in the morning with Marley. It was like four thirty. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. woke up at nine a.m. and was like, "Oh damn, I gotta go take care of the dogs." Walked in the door to a pile of dog shit. <laughs> yeah. You didn't step in it, did you? No, I threw it uh. in my garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god. It was that actually happened. My uh, what was it? My grandpa once is fucking. Um, my grandparents, like my grandma, she started smelling just shit. And like, I think it was like early in the morning. She's like, oh my God, what does that smell? And so my grandpa went to like, go, I guess, investigate. And uh, <laughs> he's like walking. And of course it's pitch black in the room and fucking walking in the fucking barefoot right into the fucking pile yeah. of shit. <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah. I, I think everybody's done that, too. yeah. Unfortunately, it's squishy and Dude, warm. Um, so Oreo was pissed at me one time. I don't remember the reason why. I think it was because. Is box is dirty. Oh, all right. So I'm like the bad guy for the situation, and not really. I just I'm doing the right thing. But we put the cats in the bathroom. They have plenty of food. They got plenty of water. They got their litter box because we're gonna go to see her her uh, her family for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And I'm the guy who goes and grabs the cats and I put them all in the bathroom. <laughs> Oreo, all the other cats, they run right in there. They're totally fine. I don't need enough to chase Oreo. I got to go find underneath the bed, <laughs> underneath something hiding from me. And like, so it's always a big ordeal. I think he was mad at me because I put him in the bathroom for the weekend and he pooped on a blanket that I had put <laughs> on top of my pillow. I wadded up this blanket. <laughs> he pooped on his pillow. I wadded up this blanket and I set it on top of my pillow um, and he fucking shit in it. And then he covered it up. Can I can I say can I curse like is that like a thing I just want to yeah. clarify real quick? Oh cool? yeah, yeah. I mean, if oh. I was like monetized on YouTube, I would say like watch it. But since I'm not, sure. go right ahead. <laughs> You're good. So like, so like I wad up this like I put it on my pillow anyway. I think Oreo was mad at me, so he pooped in it and he he wanted it back to how it was. I got home. <laughs> I got home that night on Sunday. Let all the cats out. I, I see this nice freaking blanket on my pillow and i lay back on it and i start smelling shit and i'm like what is that smell like it is so close to me i couldn't figure it out and i'm like smelling my clothes i'm like is there poop on me like what is happening you know and then i and then i sit up and i move the blanket and then shit just goes rolling across the bed and i'm like oh my god then i okay so then i clean that up 
and then I, I'm like getting in bed later that night and I fling back the, the, the comforter and I lay down, but I didn't see it because it was dark, but there was a pile of piss on my pillow as well. <laughs> so not only did he move the blanket out of the way to poop or to pee on my pillow, but then he put the blanket back on top and then pooped in it. <laughs> he covered it. <laughs> then this is, dude, he was so mad at me. He, he does that. He hasn't done it like that extreme since then, but he will do stuff like that to me. Yeah. Because I put him in the bathroom. Because he doesn't want to go like, I want you to try my new shampoo called Piss and Shoulders. <laughs> yeah, totally, dude. Like, <laughs> he's uh, he, he's definitely out to get me. He'll he'll pretend he loves me, and then he'll poop and pee on my pillow. But he won't <laughs> do it on mine. Only Jay's. Fuck. <laughs> you know, I remember you saying, I remember you guys saying that um, he was pissed because uh, Little Kitty? With that, with, I think it was when you guys got, it was either Tiny Cat oh, or yeah. Rio. He's pissed for He was pissed for both and he shit and pissed everywhere because he's mad. Yeah, because yeah, he was like all pissed, pissed off. off. Huh? I remember, do you remember, uh, what was it, when I had that one cat when we lived at um, was it the uh, the one uh, ant infested house that we used to live at? Oh, God, Cleveland? Uh, yeah. You said there was a cat there? Daisy? Well, yeah, it's the cat, like, I adopted. Like, she was at my work. And she'd, oh, like, yeah. fucking, like, follow me. And, like, she'd even, like, I'd be sitting in my car, like, just watching the site. And she'd, like, just fucking, like, sit on the hood of my car. Oh, <laughs> I remember you talking about that. Yeah, and um, what was it? She, like, I remember, like... Oreo saw her once, and then he was fucking... No, it was your old cat, too, Daisy. Daisy. Oh, my God. She went into full fucking bitch mode. Her <laughs> ears were down. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> I have never once in my life saw her. Like, I know, like... Because I, I know Daisy, she was like... She could be a bitch sometimes. But I never in my life seen her about like that and i got fucking who was it i got a what did i call her i think it was smoky is what i called my cat but yeah. i got her the fuck out of there i'm like okay no i don't fucking i don't want <laughs> i don't want baby to kill you so i'm getting you out of here <laughs> she told me when we were getting cats she's like yo like we don't want female cats they're aggressive and i'm like i don't i don't really have like a very extensive history of cats in fact in my childhood he hated cats most when of my, my, i didn't hate, i didn't hate them but i just like Every cat that we had when I was a kid, because we lived at, for at one point in my life, we lived in the mountains. And like every cat would go outside and get eaten by a coyote or a, a cougar or something, some owl or some shit like that. So I'd hear them screaming, you know, from my window at night. So like yeah. I, cats, I did, yeah, and maybe I just didn't subconsciously I didn't purchase any cats as a pet after my childhood experiences <laughs> until I met her. You don't purchase cats, you adopt them. You adopt them, whatever. Um, like, I love them no matter what. They're great animals. I, I, I didn't know that until she introduced cats back into, into my life. He's now a cat lover. I love cats. He's even thought about getting one more. No, maybe. Yeah. He said a white one. Cats, cats are great, though. Like, I, I love cats. You've seen how I interact with them now. Like, little kitty's like my little homie. Your guys is, uh, what is it? Your, um, your, like, house is going to be, like, that one uh, video. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It was, like, a Word. CNN thing. It was a thing on CNN where this, yeah. like, lady, she goes into fucking her garage, and there's all these cats, like, jumping up and down. Meow. And somebody, like, edited, uh, edited it and fucking put, like, I think it was a day to remember where it does the breakdown, and so it looks like they're all fucking moshing. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, we only have four right now, so it's not a lot. Not I mean, terrible. five wouldn't be terrible, but anything more, I think, would be pushing it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. My point was uh, of even saying that. I'm sorry. Um, we have more plants than cats anyway. We have way more plants. But my point of saying that was that uh, uh, she told me uh, from her experience with cats that female cats are super aggressive because I initially I was like, if we're getting a cat, it's going to be a female. They're not aggressive. They're pretty. I thought, thought it would be, like, more loving and, like, sweet, but... She wasn't the only one because after I heard that, I did some research. I don't know. Apparently, female cats are just more aggressive than male cats. They're not really aggressive. They're just bitchy, and they only like one person. And... I've never heard those cats in that room get mad at all like that ever. They just fight each other every once in a while. Well, they're fighting each other. I think that's normal, right? 
Yeah. Well, not only that too. Um, the thing is, you guys would have to. Um, God, what's the word? Well, you that, but you also have to get like the cat fixed like ASAP. Otherwise, you're gonna have like fucking Oreo or Leo. Or, of them. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have like a fucking gangbang going in, going on in your fucking room. <laughs> Cat orgy happening. They'll be Cat like, orgy. they'll be all grateful to be for that. I'm locking them up in the bathroom when we go visit her family. They'd be like, "Thank God you locked us in there. We had a cat orgy while you're gone." <laughs> you're just like, no cats getting, no cats getting pregnant under my roof. <laughs> all, all of our cats are fixed except for our newest cat, but he's also way too young to get fixed still. Yeah. So I, we we're responsible. They're well taken care of. Got all their shots. Just. The newest one is too young still to get him fixed. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, um, yeah, you got to wait a certain age before you can fucking chop the balls, get a little snip yeah. snip. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, snip snip, uh, fucking, uh, oh, snip Rooney. God, what is it? A fucking, uh, I can't fucking, why do I always fucking draw blanks when I talk? I don't understand why I do it. Uh, it's okay. It happens, it happens and it just happened to me too, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. You talking about neutering? Yeah, fucking, yeah, I was talking about like fucking neutering and fucking all that shit. Just <laughs> whatever you do, don't get like as much as you like, because I remember you had your, uh, was it your rabbit? Whoa, Bun Bun? Yep. <laughs> Oreo, remember Oreo got, somehow my cats got him out of the cage, and I came home, and they were all playing, and there was, like, bunny shit everywhere. <laughs> I remember you came home, and, he, like, you came home, you opened the door, and here's Bun Bun just hopping and hopping and hopping everywhere, <laughs> just having the time of his life, and there's all, like, shit, like, everywhere. <laughs> it was everywhere. He shit <laughs> everywhere. Literally from, like, every... Every two inches of my room, there was rabbit shit everywhere. That's pretty good. And I was so afraid the cats would kill him. But no, I came home, Bun Bun's hopping around, and the cats just don't even give a shit. And then before you know it, Oreo and him, I saw a picture somewhere on one of my old Facebooks. One, Actually, of, yeah, I think I've seen one of the seven old Facebooks where Oreo's just like laying with his fat little self while him and he's a little skinnier then. And then uh, Bun Bun just like curled up next to him. Yeah. Yeah. It was really cute. They were friends. <laughs> I want to get Marley a little bun bun. Yeah, we were talking about that. Maybe. I said of another an, I said of another animal because he was like, yo, I want a I want a goose. I want a duck. I was like, first of all, no, first it was a duck, then it was a goose. I want I want a little oh, boat peep. I want to have all no, the animals. Who is there's it? There's actually um a YouTuber I follow. She actually has ducks. Ducks um, are great, but I just want enough area for them. They, they're stinky as hell. Like yeah, they are. Um who was it? Uh What's the YouTuber's name? Oh, uh, Alex Zadra. I don't know if you guys heard. I think I know. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um. So yeah, she's she's got ducks. Uh, she actually it's funny. She, she recorded herself like running down the hall, and then here's the duck behind her like waddling, blah 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 blah. Little pat 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 feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. But anyways, um, let's see what else we can fucking talk about. Oh, well, since the title of this podcast is Going Beast Mode on the Toilet, I should probably tell everyone why I decided to name it that way. Right here, Brandon. <laughs> so, anyways, one night, for the love of God, I could not God. shit. I was, like, fucking <laughs> constipated. And could not, like... Do you ever get that moment where you just like you have to shit so bad and you keep going to the toilet trying to shit and nothing's coming out? Yeah. And so then you leave and then you try again and keep going back and forth. Um I uh so I, I just could not fucking for the life of me shit. And it just like my my body was just bitching at me. He's like, dude, you gotta take a shit. Like we like this guy this has got to go. <laughs> so Finally, I went back. I'm sitting on the toilet, and I'm like, just to the life of me, I'm like, you know what? I am fucking sick of this. I am sick of this shit, pun intended. <laughs> and I am, <laughs> and I, I'm like, they're fucking coming out. <laughs> so I swear to God, I was pushing harder than a pregnant lady in a fucking labor. 
<laughs> it's all like release the demons. Your <laughs> neighbor, your neighbors probably heard you screaming that night, and they're probably like, "What is happening over there, man?" Got it. I'm not passing a kidney stone. I promise. <laughs> I've done that before, dude. You're just it giving birth. Unreal the amount of pain. Oh my god, dude! I, I couldn't. Um, I could not fucking imagine it. Actually, I had a guy who was a coworker um, have to pass him to, and it's just like one of the most excru- you're pissing rocks, basically, is what you're doing. Yeah, dude. Uh, Jay, <laughs> okay, so fun fact: Jay actually has a kidney stone in a jar. <laughs> it was that one. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. I didn't mean to keep it, man. They just gave it to me. They're like, "Hey, do you want this?" And I was like, "Sure." And then when I got home, I threw it in the fucking medicine cabinet and forgot about it. I was <laughs> going to go. So I was, go- it was after we like just started dating for a little while and I'm like helping him move his stuff because we're moving into a new place. And <laughs> I was like looking around and I find this little fucking like doctor jar because it's like, you know, like the ones you pee in when you do a pee test. Yeah. And, it's the plastic thing with a little screw lid. I'm looking in there and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I showed to Jay and he was like, oh, that's my kidney stone. I'm like, why the fuck do you have this? Um, and then I get to look at it, and it's literally like a crystal, like this big, a crystal with like spines all over. Bro, mine was shaped like a like a fucking comet, man. It was yeah. like smooth on one end. No. Oh, super sharp and crazy. It's like a three D asterisk. Oh my god! Have you yeah. guys ever seen one of those things under a microscope? Yeah, uh, you don't scary. need to see this one under a microscope. If you want so, to see one up close, I will show you. James. So I will say this: when I had when I had my kidney stone, the most painful part wasn't pissing it out. That just kind of that's kind of like a different pain. It kind of just feels like scratching, and it kind of burns, and it like hurts in that sort of sort of way. It's when it's <laughs> going from your kidney to your bladder, and like I, I just remember like I walked out I walked out of my house. My lower back was hurting really bad. And I was getting in the car and I was like, why does my back hurt? Like, I thought I was like having like a cramp in my back. And then out of nowhere, I started like feeling pale. And I, was, I started sweating and I was getting nauseous and dry heaving. I couldn't control it. Like, it was just out of nowhere. <laughs> I got dropped off at the ER and they're like, when they see me rocking back and forth, holding my side like really hard, you know, and they're like, oh. And I hear this nurse walk by me in this like, like kind of like giggly tone that she's like telling the other nurses she's like oh whenever you see a man in labor you know what he's dealing with kind of like something like that you know damn hey samantha kind of like some shit like that (laughs) but like but yeah that's what they kept saying the whole rest of the night it's like it's comparable to labor and i was like well god bless women that's all i gotta say because that shit was ridiculous yeah that uh honestly like I hope I never go through that. Uh, are you allowed to? Because I've heard like that dark, like soda, like Dr. Pepper and all that shit gives it. Are you allowed to drink that stuff anymore? Well, or? Actually, uh, so I was doing strongman competitions and I was doing powerlifting competitions and I was my diet was really, really clean and I was cutting weight and getting big and cutting weight to compete. And uh, what happened was, as I was, my diet had crazy amounts of spinach in it like man i was eating like maybe a pound of spinach a day and i was also drinking lots of tea and those two things have a a particular something i can't remember what it's called i I, off the top of my head but they have this particular mineral or some type of thing that uh, that's inside that makes up those and that's what causes that can cause kidney stones and like during all that research is why I'm bringing it up is I never read anything about soda causing kidney stones, but it's very possible that they could. I, I'm not saying that's not possible. I think it's anything that's not in moderation, really, that can cause kidney stones. If all you're drinking mm-hmm. is soda, you're probably going to get a kidney stone. If all you're eating is, is all you're eating is spinach, I guarantee you're going to get a fucking kidney stone. So be careful with that. Uh, yeah. But that's what caused it for me. Damn. Yeah, I hope I never have to go through that, but knowing something tells me I'm gonna fucking have to go through it. But <laughs> just hoping I don't. Damn water. Yeah. Fucking. I'm surprised I haven't had a kidney stone. 
Yeah. I like don't ever drink water. I don't know if I've ever really drank in water. Like, I'm never like, oh, I'm thirsty. Let's drink some water. It's always like, like even on a hot day, like the last day I, it's been my birthday weekend, you know, I don't really yeah. drink. So I had like a few beers, but that's it. I didn't drink any water. Um, and then when I do drink anything, it's like tea or something like that. So I'm super surprised I haven't had one yet. Let's just knock on wood for, you know, my kidneys to make sure I don't get no kidney stones. Yeah, you guys don't want them. I'm going to I'm gonna send good vibes that you don't have Who, a, who does? I, I couldn't imagine, like, anybody being like, oh, my God, if I, I have a kidney stone, this Finally. feels so fucking good. <laughs> it's hard to I mean, I don't know. I mean... I mean, I guess there's like pain fetishes out there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. One. I don't know about a kidney stone. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird pain, dude. And apparently, this is what I was told because I was like, they, they did a, like x rays or whatever. I don't remember what it was an MRI, maybe. I don't know. And I, some, oh, oh, the one that goes over your belly? Can't scan. Any, yeah, they checked it. They saw it. And they're like, yeah, you're going to be able to pass that. Uh, apparently, they get way bigger than that. And people can't pass them. You have to have surgery. I was like, did you pass yours? Yeah. How the fuck are you still the same? Well, it's the rest of the way is not that bad. At I'll least with the one that I had. The At least the one I had wasn't that bad. <laughs> the but I, I've I've talked to people, dude. Some some dude. One dude told me he's had one the size of his thumbnail, and I was like, "That's a big kidney stone." You got to get surgically removed, and then Out it, your people? and they basically what they do is they laser it till it falls into these little chunks, and you pass it anyway. Like what the fuck? Damn. It sounds dangerous. Damn. <laughs> Ugh, no thanks. No. So Brandon signed up for two kidney stones. <laughs> Lesson learned: drink lots of water. Don't eat too much spinach. Not too much. Don't salt. drink too much tea. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Also, guys, I probably forgot to mention. Um, I forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, don't name names. Uh, so if you're talking about somebody, unless it's like in a positive thing, but don't like if you're gonna like. Tell a story about somebody like this guy pissed me off or something. Don't say their name because, like I said, I don't want to fucking somebody being like, I'm suing you for defamation. And oh, yeah, yeah Did I do that? Shit. No, he's fair. Um, okay, yeah, it's, I mean, if I mean, in today's like world, it's just, I don't. Who the fuck knows? I just don't want to be You don't that. have the money for a, a, a lawsuit, Brandon. <laughs> eh, that doesn't stop anybody fucking. Well, I think they could still fucking charge it to you, though. Be like, oh, you have to pay reparations, fucking, and fucking. Yeah, I don't want to fucking be paying somebody's fucking lawsuit so, money and then the fucking court fees and all that shit. Uh, <laughs> so, does this, uh, does this, uh, does this link get posted to, like your Facebook or like your YouTube or Twitch or something like that, or um, or do you get the do you get the the video from this and then you add a little edit and an intro at the beginning and then you post it like how does that is that kind of how you do it yeah that's kind of how i'm gonna do it so it's i think just saving it's either saving to like my account on here Streamyard, or it's like saving to my actual computer mm -hmm. either way i'm gonna uh after this upload it to youtube um get it out there i need to find out how i can like separate the audio file from it and then just have the audio file you could use um, CapCut for that. Use what? Use a use a app called CapCut. CapCut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll definitely look into that. So. Yeah, dude, dude, totally. It'll it'll extract audio from any file that you have. Uh, there's an app on your phone that you can use if you have like a Google Drive or something like that, and you can you can extract the file from the Google Drive with CapCut, and then you can extract that from CapCut and apply it wherever you want. And CapCut's also a really good like editing software. I'm not plugging it or anything like that right now. I'm just I've used it for for things and it's it's very useful for that. So not sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor brand, go for it. Yeah. All right. Hey, who knows? Maybe they'll maybe they'll contact me. Who knows? Of course I don't have the fucking I don't have the uh following yet, but hopefully here's here's hoping. But with Jay's um, sexy ass, you'll have all the following. <laughs> <laughs> oh god so um so uh what uh actually what's been happening with you like at work 
Not much. Just working my ass off, man. I uh, got the, you know, well, the visit the other day by the big boss, you know, the head hog, um, asking me if I want management, and I told him no. <laughs> really? Yeah. So he came in the day before my birthday, asked me if I wanted management, and I basically already run the show, you know what I mean? I'm basically already manager, um, but told me I wouldn't be getting paid as much. So I was like, why the fuck would I, you know, lower myself to that standard of not getting, you know, um, what I'm worth, you know, that just doesn't make any mm -hmm. sense to me. So I told him that I want to see the numbers. I want him to put everything on paper and I want to see what the trending bonuses are for management and then I'll decide then, but I'm not going to take it if, uh, you know, it's not what I think I'm worth. So, and I know my you know, damn worth. Do what the athletes do. Hire an, uh, an agent. Right. <laughs> Hire an agent. I need a life coach, <laughs> financial advisor. <laughs> oh God. No, I'm pretty good about that. I know about money. I know uh, what I'm worth. So I'm just not going to settle for less. Well, and if you're like going into a management position, they should be, they should be paying your salary. Oh no. And not only that, well, they don't have to salary in Oregon is what I was told. Not mm -hmm. only that, um, what was I going to say? Uh, I would make less than I would as a normal representative. And I'm assistant, and I'm assistant right now. So yeah, I, just yeah. I could move up in this company really quick, but do I want to deal with more problems and, and more responsibility with less pay? Or do I want to stay where the fuck I'm at and keep making the big bucks? Yeah, I, I would say definitely stay where you're at. Um, Absolutely. That actually it happened. Like, there was something similar that happened to JB. Is that at his one of his jobs, uh, he was a production manager, and they were only paying him like twelve bucks an hour. Ooh, that's less than what I'd be making. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was like what, like eleven years ago. So obviously the wages were different back then. But yeah. Um, yeah. He. Uh, he even said, like, one of the reasons he left was because he's like, I don't get paid enough to do this job. So I don't blame him. Uh, I would start at 17 an hour. After a year, it would go to 18. After a year and a half, it'd be like 18.50. And that's it. So it's just hourly. Right now, I am banking 15.20 right now, plus commission. And my commission checks are usually pretty fat. So, um, and I don't want to go into numbers here. You know what I mean? Don't ask, don't tell. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. So I just don't want to risk that. I got bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. Um, you know, because, yeah, he's a garbage yeah. disposal. So, you And we know. know what happens when I don't eat. I almost yeah. pass the fuck out. And he gets grumpy. <laughs> yeah. he's do you, like, put a bib on him, too, and be like, here's the airplane? <laughs> right. No, I just ask him, do you want a Happy Meal, honey? <laughs> My mommy got me a Happy Meal today, and I was happy. I did. He was a grumpy bitch. And then I was like, why is he grumpy? And I'm like, okay. So Diablo, maybe that's it. You need to play some video games. And then I realized he hadn't eaten all day. And I was like, do you want a Happy Meal? And he's like, actually, that sounds kind of nice. And I was like, what do you want? And he's like, give me the apple slices and the, the uh, chocolate milk and a fry and cheeseburger. And then an extra cheeseburger. So I got him a whole ass Happy Meal and got myself a medium fry. Hey, you know what? But there, but. Okay, so there's some logic in that too, right? I mean, they, it's kind of more of a balanced meal because it's for kids and McDonald's, McDonald's knows that. So the nutritionist that designs all those meals knows that it's putting a balanced, at least a semi-balanced, although fast food meal inside of a Happy Meal box. And uh, my blood sugar crashed so hard. I was like, I need simple sugars. I need complex sugars. I need whey protein, casein protein. Uh, I need the meat protein. I need the fats from the food. I need the carbohydrates. And that comes with apple slices and milk. So I was like, that's like an easy, quick fix that could potentially set me from like having to go to the ER or something. From so essentially he can call me mommy at this point because I fed him good. And I was like, thanks, mom. I appreciate you. <laughs> it was funny because we're going through the drive-thru and as I'm giving him his Happy Meal, the guy looks into the car and kind of like looks at both of us and he's like, who the fuck is that for? <laughs> And that was the best part, leaving knowing the guy was like, these two adults ordered a fucking Happy Meal with no child. Oh. What the fuck? Sometimes so, you just want to be a kid again, you know? <laughs> yeah. This is nostalgia for me. That's what it is. It was a crisis and it needed to be handled. <laughs> yes. And it was handled. 
It was handled with grace and dignity because there's nothing wrong with having And I'll tell you this, Brandon. It, uh, he it, even got a toy. It, 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 made it. Me, I knew it. it made me feel better, and it made my blood sugar issues thing kind of semi-resolve. And if it ever happens to you, I'm going to get you a happy meal. <laughs> Brandon prefers Taco Bell. <laughs> what are they oh, doing? God, no, no, no. Fucking... Back in the old day, the McDiction's not Taco Hell. Well, I mean, if you're ever feeling constipated like the, the title of this podcast, you need to just go get yourself some Taco Bell. And I think it'll... The Taco Hell. Taco uh, Hell. Yeah, Taco, Taco Hell. Hell. Oh, God. Not sponsored, but if you want to, sponsor Brandon. You guys slipped. Like, that's the third time you guys have slipped. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you'll have to when you get this when you get this video, which you'll have to do. Bleep it up. Use CapCut, edit all the way through. Whenever we say words like that, just make like a duck quack quack or something. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I'll just tell everybody they're actually not talking. Uh, they're actually talking about Joe Biden. That's why they keep saying Brandon. <laughs> yeah, don't do Close that. Close enough. <laughs> just cut it out. Just do the duck quack quack. Or a fart sound. I'm not even too. You're gonna get Joe Biden a Happy Meal. <laughs> God, yeah, get Vlad a Happy Meal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got you. I can't promise to remember every two seconds, but cat cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fucking. Do you remember uh, what was it? We used to. Do you know how shitty, like, how shitty of eaters we were back in the day? Uh oh, God. So shitty to the point where we found a month old hamburger underneath your seat of your Kia Optima and uh, piled the bags up to our legs and just rode in the car with bags of fucking Taco Bell and McDonald's all the way up to our kneecaps. I believe that. And somehow we were still looking good. Savages. I remember what was. <laughs> um. We used to, well, you used to smoke in, in my car. I remember that. And <laughs> fucking. I smoked in everybody's car. <laughs> and this chick, I swear to God, like, she, she'd light up a cigarette and then she'd be talking and fucking accidentally hitting my upholstery with her cigarette. <laughs> like, fucking cigarette burn my tree. That was when I was Sacagawea. <laughs> I have grown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, dude. I, the the Suzuki is sitting right out front, <laughs> and there's like, holes in the upholstery in the back seat. Even I, I vividly remember that. That's when I was smoking a pack of joints a day. Dude, oh, and I, God. the ash, the amount of ash in that car that I I cleaned, and I'm still every once in, like the other day I cleaned some out, and I was like, oh my god. There's still a lot of ash. In here. We should just call this Vlad. Maybe realize like we've we've detailed that car and taken care of it, but I still find ash in it. And it, I found a fucking a roach just sitting in there one time. There's a cigarette oh. button in the console. Cigarette, still. old cigarette button in there. I was like, what the fuck? Where this? Probably like, How do we not notice that? It's when probably it? like six we years it. old, sitting in the middle console still. Because it was really dirty. Not yeah, crazy. fucking, uh, oh my god, fucking, yeah, I mean, my car is actually so messed, like, the back seat is a fucking, I mean, it's not as bad as how it used to be, but it's, it's definitely, like, there's a bunch of just shit, like, in the back of my seat I need to clean out. Uh, your car is really clean, though, actually, I was even scared to put the barbecue in there, because yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's so clean, I'm scared to put this barbecue in there. It had like a couple things. So put the barbecue in there because you know a bitch likes to get free shit. So we find a free barbecue. We're like, okay, well, Brandon, let's take your car because I can't fit it any mine. Yeah, that's all your car, man. It's clean. I got up. Suzuki, the Honda. I got we got the Subaru. We can't fit a full barbecue in anything, but you know your car. You got uh, a fucking bus uh, too. Don't forget that. A what? Yeah, but you got a bus. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but we don't have it all the time. And yeah. not only that, the gas is probably like four times yours. Oh, yeah. Fucking. It's like, what, <laughs> two, three hundred dollars to fill? Uh, it's two hundred to four hundred, yeah, depending on where oh, you are. Geez. Yeah, it's expensive. Ugh, fuck. It's a hot mess. But, but, 
you know, it sounds like this. I'm actually glad fucking, I mean, with all the shit I've found in my car. I never found mice in my car, thank God. Especially oh, with the Optima. Found, dude, my new Honda sitting outside because I have chickens. Like, we don't have mice in the house or anything. But, like, because I have chickens, they go after the feed. Uh, I went to go get my oil changed the other day. And they found, like, two marks from mice trying to turn my uh, cabin filter into bedding Ooh. so yeah that's why i changed it you were like they swindled you and i'm like no i needed a new one my my air filter had like two marks and it was like a rat's bedding man they're trying to make some money they're back there just nibbling the shit out of that thing before they bought the it up here <laughs> the guy yeah. pulls it out of the filter area the, the little dock and he's over like nom, 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 nom. <laughs> i know i'm gonna make this sale i'm making money the, today those rat bastards <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Only you, Brandon. I'm sorry. It's not every mechanic. You know, you know, mechanics are awesome, but I, I have seen that sort of thing happen. This might just be like a pregame to the next one, so I remember. It, it's fine. It's fucking Okay. Weird. You're going to do a whole lot of editing, Brandon. Ah, fuck shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that. It's so hard. I've known you for too long. With the amount of edits dropping in this video. CapCut better sponsor your ass. Yeah. Fucking, why do I feel like you guys are going to, if you guys are saying Capcom, I'm like. No, Capcom not is Capcom. We don't talk about Capcom because they will fucking get your ass. But hey, not sponsored. If you want to sponsor Vlad, yeah, hit him up. I caught myself. <laughs> there you go. You caught yourself. But at least you guys, what was it? Um, like mice are one thing, but it's times like this. I don't, I'm glad I don't live like in Australia. Have you seen the fucking things that come out of that country? Bro, be glad you don't oh, yeah. live in the apartment that we used to live in. Oh, is that you guys lived in Redmond? No, you and me when we lived in the oh, apartment. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. With the roaches? Oh, God. We really was... hella glow up right now. Like, we glew up. Like, we are living a lot better than we were back then. Oh, there were God. Roaches. The At night, you could look on the lights and they'd be, like, scurrying in the cabinets. There'd be, yeah, like, yeah, there'd be cockroach shit all over everything. There's a little tiny roaches, like, this big. Yeah, like a house roach. There, yeah, I guess they were called, was it German cockroaches? Yeah, and you remember why we had them, Vlad? I can't remember. Was it because we were close to the fucking dumpster? No. The oh. neighbor downstairs had 40 guinea pigs. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. 40 guinea pigs. Remember we would open the back yeah. window and it would stink so fucking bad, like piss and shit? Because oh, they, were yeah. they were having a hella hoarding guinea pigs downstairs. I remember coming home after work, you know, late night, having one of my girlfriends come over and me just be like thinking of scenarios. Of, like, what they were doing with that many guinea pigs, like, dressing them in little fucking outfits and shit. Probably. Anybody that has that many is, like... Creepers. They got fancy ones. They got, like... <laughs> they got, like, ones with big old dumbo. They got little suit and ties they got on. clothes <laughs> for them and fucking, like... What was it, uh... And shit. Um... Dr. Arpeggio, or Taylor, whatever you want to call him. Fucking, no. uh... Dr. Arpeggio. We don't need drop. All right, Dr. Ope Dr. Arpeggio fucking actually made up this story that the guinea pigs were actually his, like, his wives. Oh, my goodness. I remember that. <laughs> that was back when we used That's to have... He's, like, babies. hiding his wives. is like, he, like, turns them into guinea pigs. That's back when we used to have band time in my apartment. Bring a whole oh ass drum God. set. In the bases. Or um, what was it? No, when I took the, it was my drum set I used to have. I took it over to, to the house, to the uh, Cleveland house, and fucking um, it was me, Chin Man, and then Doctor Arpeggio. For fucking, of course he was playing the fucking drums, but yeah. fucking, and would put fucking. I don't know why he did, but fucking Taylor put fucking T-shirts on the fucking, on the drums, to I guess mute the sound or whatever. Yeah. God, fucking. Is it to dampen the sound? It, it, I mean, that'll do it. Yeah, sure. It's better than 
If you're trying to be quiet, it's better. It's better than, uh, like not doing it. Just sure. drums are loud as fuck, man. Oh but yeah. Here, was that when was that when Matt was still living there? Or was that after, like, or is that when he moved down the hall? Um, I can't remember. Did he move I, out? I no, he moved to the other side of the house, and we just never saw him. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. He moved to the other side, I think, of the house. But then, I no, there was a time he did move out. I remember. Um, I remember. That was a long time was, ago. He moved out, and then his buddy moved out, and then oh, me, and then your friends, your friend and his girlfriend moved upstairs. No, that wasn't my friend. That was Matt's. That was uh, Zach and what's her face. I don't remember. She was an asshole. Yeah, um, it was. I'm talking about afterwards. They did, oh, Brooklyn and uh, Missy. Yeah, and um, um, so they moved upstairs, and then um, God, who moved? And then their friend, who was fucking the most, was a the creepy. Bald, oh, the bald weird kid. The creepy guy, yeah, with the fucking weird ass laugh. The one that asked for a number and I turned him down and then five minutes later went and asked for my sisters? Yeah. <laughs> fucking he was just, like, creepy. Fucking, and me and Taylor used to fucking uh, joke around, remember? Yeah. Like, because he would ask. He would ask us almost every fucking day, like, where are you What are? is Ashley doing? Yeah, it's like, hey, do you know if Ashley's home? And then we made this fucking uh, uh, <laughs> joke, like, like, hey, is Ashley home? No. What a bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> he said that one time. They, he was like, is Ashley home? And they're like, no. He's like, what a bitch. <laughs> this kid was literally trying to hit on me so hard, and I turned him down so many damn times. He was fucking weird. Sounds weird. Really weird. And, like, literally would just ask for my number all the time, and I kept telling him, no, 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 no. And that's when they made the joke that I was a bitch because I always told him, they were someone else. <laughs> Remember when me and Kenzie smoked with him? Oh, uh, I think Did so. Did I tell yeah. you that story? Vaguely. You'll have to tell me again. When the K Master was down there hanging out with us, um, we smoked and I taught her how to smoke her first bong. Um, she took a fat ass hit and I was like, How you feeling? She's like, I'm good. Feel good. And I'm like, All right, it's time to go. Um, and she, I, she's like, I can't stand up. <laughs> she was hilarious. This was your sister, right? Yeah. Oh, God. And she had like, what, one drag and then she's like, I can't, I can't stand oh, up. Ran in a drag on a bong is not a drag. I promise you that. Okay. Sorry. I don't, she I don't had, like, smoke. She like, drag straight to the dome. <laughs> smoke a whole bowl, probably. By accident. Yeah, it's too easy. I've to smoked it to what that. like I've smoked weed like maybe three times in my entire life. Yeah, so. and all you did was get quieter than you usually are. Yeah, I just fucking I didn't even know that was even possible, and then yeah, like we're gonna be like. I remember that last time was with JB, and what was the other friend? It was me, you, JB, and somebody else. What's JB's friend that we used to hang out with? Oh. We'll just call him T. You're not getting mixed up with Taylor and Joe, are you? No, T. Like, no. Tan? Okay. You know I Tan. I can't remember. Tanner. Tanner. Okay, yeah, Tan. Remember right we, were all, we were all in your car, and I was smoking pot. And then JB's like, I'll hit that shit. And he did, and uh, Tanner did too. And then Brandon was like, I don't know, man. I was like, just smoke that shit. Because my bad influence self back then. Sorry no, about no, no. that. Yeah, she's like, she's like, she's like, come on. She's like, come on, don't you want to be cool? No. I did not say that. No, I said, I, no, I said don't be a pussy. I, I do believe it's that. I like, like the fucking like stereotypical. Come on, man. You should try it. Don't you want to be cool? <laughs> <For> peer pressure. 
<laughs> I really did. I didn't. I didn't say what he said. I literally looked at him. I was like, "Don't be a pussy, Brandon." And then he <laughs> smoked it, and then he just got all quiet. It was, it was really funny. It'll do that to you. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> I don't know. I just like it's never really like what is it? Just not your thing. Yeah, it's just not my thing. It's like like people love the fucking like the feeling of being high. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> hey, honestly though, don't feel bad about that because like I can't smoke anymore. Like I got with Jay, and I was smoking all the time, and I'd smoke with him, and I'd smoke with a. Uh, We'll call her Ob. And um, I just, after a little while, couldn't anymore. I'd get such bad anxiety that it just wouldn't feel awesome anymore. And it didn't do the same thing. It didn't serve me the way it used to. So I just stopped. And now, like, on rare occasion, I will. And I'll feel like fucking shit. And I'll be like, this is why I don't do this. I'll be like, Jay will be, like, talking to me. And I'm like, I can't, I can't comprehend what you're saying right now. Please stop. I can't even, I can't understand you. It's all awkward. It's better than the fucking time when I first got. You remember that fucking the time I first got drunk? Oh my god! (laughs) Yes, you were like on the floor, and is that the same time as uh, our Doctor Arpeggio, uh, Kyle, and Chin Man? Booze dozer, you're thinking of? Huh? Booze dozer. Booze dozer. No, booze house. Oh my god, uh, booze dozer. Uh, that's Kyle's nickname. Oh, booze dozer. Yeah. I want to call him something else, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> it it starts, I mean, it ends with canoe. Canoe. Oh, canute. Douche canoe. Douche canoe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Or wait, uh, wait. Uh, what's a name you could say with stealing from Target? <laughs> oh my God! All right, I should probably tell this story. You know, it's funny. I never told my old boss about this story God, because let's hear it. I, I meant to tell him, but I forgot to tell him because my my boss, my old boss, was actually the one that apped him, and uh, uh, he knew that I worked there, so. We had, um, what is it? So Target has like this social media app or what it, I guess app, not app, but website. It's called the Yammer. It's like a business for businesses. Sure. And um, I used to check it every day. It was like fucking, it's like the newspaper of Target, I guess, when it comes to like AP. And I fucking look on there and my boss at my old store posted like yeah this guy like came in or whatever used a cutting tool to cut off one of the spider wraps and uh called the cops had him arrested and everything else and i'm like and i'm like are you fucking serious like i fucking almost i almost stopped i almost didn't want to talk to him and i'm like he said the reason He said the reason, like, he did it was because he wanted to, like, get his, like, I guess his nephew or somebody, um, something to, like, he, he couldn't, he didn't have any money. He wanted to get him something for Christmas, and that's so what he's he doing. Like a ro- he's doing, like, a Robin Hood sort of gesture. Yeah. That's what he said, right? Fucking excuse. He, he, he tried to go anti, anti-hero anti at Target. <laughs> yeah. He lost that one. Yeah, so... But yeah, I still haven't told my old boss. I need to fucking. I think you tell him that he's he'd be like, "Are you fucking serious?" You're like so, I know that guy. I've actually been hanging oh, out with him for the last like eight years. <laughs> oh god. How long but, have you uh, known? How long have you known him? Since Job Corps, which was like 2010, is when. Oh my I god! Mean, it's been so long, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> I almost name dropped again, but guess what? Didn't do it that time. Boom. <laughs> Caught yourself. <laughs> yep. Because I'm that bitch. <laughs> that's, when you, that's when you have the button that you go. 
<laughs> I need to get a fucking soundboard is what I need to do. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Um, What was it? Uh, But yeah, and then there's Joe or Chin Man. We haven't actually really talked about him. Should I talk about him? Sure, why not? <laughs> Did I ever tell you the one time at band practice? He fucking... Um, at band camp. <laughs> Yeah, band camp. I mean, it was really a camp, I guess, but fucking... Um, <laughs> he didn't get he, it. He was playing guitar, and then we stopped. We stopped playing for a minute, and he fucking... <laughs> he starts going like this with his hair. He's like, I'm messing up my hair to make it look more metal. <laughs> Dude, you gotta do that. It's okay, because Jay over here likes to wet his hair beforehand. Well, that's because... Uh, well, I know why you do that, though, too. Um, because, like, fucking it gets hot on stage, so it fucking cool. Well, no. He just likes to get the Jesus locks looking, like, sweaty and sexy. Yeah. Fucking, uh, what was it? Wrestlers do that, too. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. otherwise, their hair down. Otherwise, it, otherwise, it's just like it's just like this the whole time. Oh, yeah, like kind of yeah. frizzy and shit? Yeah, yeah, and it's like it's just kind of flat, but if I get it wet before, beforehand. He doesn't really have frizz anymore. It's just his hat. It just more, like, lays flat. Yeah, and if I get it wet, at least it's like. So that's why I think I get a lot of people. That's why I think it, th there's a lot of people uh, after like shows and shit. They'll be like, hey, uh, "You're like uh, that one wrestler. Who's who's that one that they always say?" Uh, uh, someone will say, "Hey, you're Jason Momoa," or uh, 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 it's Roman the one Reigns. That Roman Reigns. Roman yeah. Reigns. Yes, I've yeah. heard that. You said that, oh, and then not yeah. only not only that, but. I've heard that like on the road too. People are like, "You're like Roman Reigns." I'm like, "Um, thanks, man. That guy's fucking jacked." <laughs> I don't know, man. I think you look more like Damian Priest, but that's just my theory. There you go. I'll just check it out. <laughs> I'm into it. I, I, I think it's a, I think it's a cool thing. Someone says that to me. It's, it's, I think it's, I appreciate it. It's a compliment to me. Oh no problem. Fucking, actually, I think what you did do is just fucking like fucking slick your hair back. Yeah. Just fucking put it back, put it in hair gel. I like it like this. See, it's all beautiful and luscious. He's got the block. <laughs> Dude, this is like, I I walk around and it's like, these are like curls and. and He's got the jerry curl. They'll be like, Ashley or other girls will be like, this looks like, uh, like I used a thing to do it. But like a curling a, wand. I guess apparently, <laughs> like having curly hair is, a, is a, something that. Desired trait. Females like or something. I don't know. Like want their hair to do. <laughs> now she can't keep her hands off your hair. <laughs> yeah. My precious. <laughs> um, but God, I don't know what else. What else there? There is. Um, you say my battle there. shit. Oh God. <laughs> Did I tell you? Okay, I got some more stories. Fucking, um, there's nothing really at work, like my last job, that there's really anything funny to talk about. Except, yeah, it's all sad. Me. Oh, I got one funny Target one, though. Let's hear it. All right, so this guy fucking, um, comes in. And goes to the bathroom. And I go out. I'm like, um, just, you know, making a presence around the store and all that. And I guess this guy fucking, like, just shit his pants. Like, oh. breathe the beast in his pants. Oh, no. And fucking, um, so, like, in, like I, I kid you not, he had, like, a, there was, like, a trail of shit outside going into the store into the bathroom to where the leads had to fucking clean up <laughs> clean it up and uh um i mean i felt bad for the guy like he was an old guy so i i totally understand you know like fucking you're old you don't have really control of your fucking you know your bowels and your piss and fucking it Fucking sometimes it will fucking, you know, slip past you and whatever. 
Ew. Old man poop. Well, it fucking party. does. I mean, fucking, you know, it will just fucking come right out because you don't have fucking control or anything. But, um, so one of the leads went in there to give him, um, because we requisitioned from clothes for him. Because, like, obviously his clothes are fucking ruined. Like, there's no way he's going to be able to walk out of the store, like, sure. fucking just in shit-covered pants. So we requisitioned, like, some, like, clothes for him. And uh, one of the leads goes into the bathroom to hand it to him. And fucking he grabs him and it's, <laughs> and it's like, covered in shit, grabs the guy's hand. And so he's, like, yeah. he fucking lifts up his hand and it has, like, shit all over. So he had to fucking wash off his hand. and. It was just, uh, like it was just so fucking bad and, um, but yeah, his fucking like. The good thing was is that we actually did him a favor. We closed off the restroom so he had like the privacy, um, which I would, I wish I would have known because we actually have a private restroom like that's just for one person next to the pharmacy. And had I known that he was going through that, I would have just directed him towards that bathroom. But I didn't know. Yeah, it happens, literally. Yeah, and so, uh, so like his wife was handing him. I started helping him out and everything, and fucking, I looked at the fucking footage of him coming into the store, and fucking, um, if like you could just see, it looked like a fucking bomb went off in his pants. <laughs> Vlad. I got a story for you. Did you hear Did my... he walk in, bro? And then, like, all of a sudden, you saw a bulge come out the back? Like, uh, shit? No, I wasn't actually, I don't think, out in the store when it happened. Um, but I went out, like, just a little bit later, and yeah, he just, like, fucking. But long story short, he was able to get himself, like, cleaned up and, you know, get out of the store and everything. Well, that's good. That got to be embarrassing. Oh, my goodness. So. Since we're talking about shitting your pants in public, I have a job story as well to tell you. Story time. Okay, so I'm working. My old boss is here, and we are talking. We are working double team to help this customer out because it was just us. So we're like, hey, why not like help each other out, make this go quicker? I got this deal out, this fat, awesome deal, dude. Made me a lot of commission. Well, halfway through, I'm like you know, getting ready to set up phones, whatnot. And this guy goes, well, like he was talking about it. He's like, he's like, I gotta go potty. And I'm like, I was like, there's a bathroom next door. And Fred Meyer's like, just chill. Like we're almost done here. No problem. I was like, don't lose the battle. Um, you know, five minutes later, he goes, I'm losing the battle. And I was like, don't lose the battle. Don't shit yourself. And I literally say it just like that, because at this point I already know the customer's cool. Like, I can say, don't shit yourself. He goes, it's too late. And I was like, oh, hell no. Two seconds later, the loudest gurgly fart I have ever heard in my entire fucking life. (laughs) Nasty sound. And I was like, oh, hell no. This is not really happening. And me and my boss look at each other kind of like, and then we were like, no, that did not just happen. My boss goes down to grab a charger to help. And then we hear it again. And we both look at each other like, oh, my fucking God, this is not happening. And the guy, all of a sudden, you could smell it. It smelled so fucking bad, dude. It smelled putrid. Like, he is legit just shit his pants. Like, full Was it on. like diarrhea? Like, yes. Smell? Oh, like, God. running down your legs. Like, the smell of diarrhea when it's really raunchy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. Me and my boss are both like, okay, we need to hurry up now. And this is before he quit. It was sick poop for sure. And we were like hurrying the fuck up at this point. I didn't even set up his phone. I put it in a bag. I put his other phone in a bag and his other phone because he got a couple lines. And I was like, okay, dude, I'm sorry. Like, here you go. Here's your phones. I'm trying to be super nice and, and, you know, respectful because I understand shit happens. He talked about having a stroke not too long ago. So I was being considerate, you know what I mean? Like, hey, this is life. I didn't want to embarrass him. The guy starts walking out, and he's wearing sweatpants. And there is the biggest shit stain on the back of his sweatpants, spackled all the way down his leg. 
Oh my God. All the way down the back of his leg. I will never forget him leaving because of the fact that I watched him turn around and there was just shit all the way down the back of his leg. Yeah. Like yeah. straight spackled shit down the back of his fucking sweatpants. It was <laughs> so gross. But being me, I was super nice about it. I'm like, okay, understanding, empathy. We got this. Like, hey, he had a stroke. He can't control that. He did ask for a bathroom. However, if he felt like it was that close to the rim of his butthole, he could have been like, hey, I need to go to the bathroom now. And we, he could have came back and we could have finished afterwards. But no, this guy proceeded to shit his pants. Hardcore. He just got, wow. like, he must not have been able to hold it. Like, yeah, Wait, even then, he, he held it for a good 10 minutes. You could have been like, hey, I got a shit, dude. Like, I'm not holding it. I mean, it I would have walked out and gone to the bathroom. I'll be back. I got to go. There's nothing holding me. Like, I'm going. Yeah, and he didn't. He looked at us and stood there the whole time and didn't tell me until it was, like, about to happen. Like, oh, I'm losing the battle. And then shit his fucking pants. So both of these stories remind me of my one time experiencing something like that. It wasn't me personally that did it. But I was... Oh, it was you. I was was in middle school, and I was getting a green belt for Taekwondo. Oh, and no. So I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty familiar with like the steps it takes to get it. You have to do. I for, I forget the terminology or what it's called anymore. It's been so long, but you have to do like this uh, choreographed move set, displaying mm-hmm. all the new moves that you practice in a very like yeah. meticulous manner, and the and the and the turns have to be right, and the punches have to be right with the right intensity and stuff like that. And then you get voted like, yeah, he gets his green belt. No, he gets it. Anyway, I'd done that a few times. I'm up to the green belt. And there's a bunch of new white belts over in the corner. And they're like, they're about to do their first one. And there's this one kid who keeps walking back and forth. And he's really nervous. Real nervous. Oh, no. Uh, and I get this, like, smell, this foul smell coming across the room. So I know he's got, like, nervous farts, right? Because he's doing <laughs> it. And there's no filter. This shit is just coming out. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe this is my theory. And you know, we're wearing like our white geese. Maybe he just thought like he just let a fart out. He, his stomach's kind of got butterflies and then it'll be over. But that wasn't what happened. Okay. No, God. I bet you I could get the rest. What happened was he he trusted his farts and he shouldn't have. <laughs> Never trust oh, a fart. Oh, God. You're not supposed to trust a fart. And this guy <laughs> trusted his fart and it ended up being a load of poop. Like diarrhea, <laughs> and, like, oh. yellow, the yellow nasty kind, and like you know white Ew. pee, and like it was so like he stood up and like he was like right next to me, right here is next to me, is and what? I'm sitting, I'm sitting down Indian style. I finished my shit. I'm like feeling nice and proud. I'm sitting up all fucking big and puffy chest, you know, all stoked. And he stands up next to me, and I see his butt as he's walking, and it's just. A, uh, a yellow stain, like a big one, where his butt oh. is. And on the ground next to me, same, and running down the back of his hill, and he's kicking and doing all this shit, like, and it's like flying places. And then, and the master runs out there, he's like, it's over, we're done tonight. You know, because like the, the parents and shit are like in the corner, and like, oh my God, he broke his pants. And like, can you imagine how embarrassing that was for that poor kid? But, that's that's what both of your experiences remind me of. It, that that is burned into my in, into my retinas for the rest of my life. As my memory <laughs> that I had to witness that, and I felt like I feel bad, but it, and it was gross for sure. I was gagging so hard, dude. That's why, like, when you guys talk about it, I get this nasty. I get the gross face. <laughs> Help us think about it because I've experienced. <laughs> I've been around that shit. It's pretty gnarly, dude. Yeah. And in your situation, the guy probably was old and couldn't hold his poop. In your situation, yeah. he had a stroke and couldn't hold his. He poop. had a stroke and couldn't hold his poop. And mine was just a kid that trusted a fart and he shouldn't have. Because <laughs> yeah. if he had just gotten up and gone to the bathroom real quick, man, he would have, that would never it. happened. <laughs> no God, uh, what was it? Um, yeah. Well, had that been? Did they? Did the parents at least like shield him and like a? To, like escort him to the bathroom did they or did they just like sit there and be like oh my god yeah you know it was so embarrassing that's why i'm like this is probably traumatic for him because 
everyone was like oh my god talking to the person next to him and they probably saw me reacting to the poop on the floor and the smell oh. of the old bad gags so i went from like this to like, like i was pretty nauseous from it man it was like it's, it's beautiful i love it i'm oh, sorry uh she uh she's just gorgeous and i love her she's just so sweet <laughs> I was like, look at my pretty ring. Oh, God. That's what she thinks of when we're talking about poop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he be shitting his pants all the time. Let me tell you, this motherfucker will be in the car, and he trusts his farts all the time. But he'll be pooping his pants almost damn near and stinking my damn car up. Don't lie. No, I don't trust him. Yeah, he trusts it enough. <laughs> um, yeah. He farts so damn much. Since I met him, he's always shitting his pants. You know what? They don't stink as bad as mine half the time, but it's okay. You know, they don't smell. It's it's because when I'm eating, I, I, I just like, I eat so fast, I'm inhaling a bunch of air. It's the only thing I can think is, is that's what's happening. Or I'm just, <laughs> stop pulling my hair. <laughs> my hair. <laughs> my leg hair. Damn. I'm pulling his, I'm pulling the hair on his inner thigh. Yeah, well, for now, but you know, he could actually fucking take countermeasures and just shave his legs and be like, ah, oh, what now? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Then I'll pull his butt hair. Nope. Well, you could shave that too, though. I'll pull the little hairs on the back of his neck. <laughs> I'll grab my eyelash. Oh my god, she just did it. Don't encourage her, dude, because the more you say, the more you give her ideas, I'll go that I'm going to block it, the more she gets, the de more devious she becomes. Oh god. Fucking. Uh, so, yeah, that's like, I guess, man, that's been a real shit show. Literally. <laughs> yeah, we have to talk. Food talk, one with Vlad. Yeah, see, I was going to say, had that been my kid, I would have fucking, like, gotten up with my wife and just yeah. been like, okay, either you take the front or I take the back or vice versa and would fucking Aww. shield him. Yeah, and fucking oh, escort him to, and escort him to the bathroom. Yeah, dude, I, I can't remember details, and you know, th there could be some false memory uh, things happening in my mind right now. But I, I can, I think I remember him crying, and I just know that it was a traumatic experience because it was just everyone was talking and pointing and giggling and like it was, yeah, it was like poor dude. A shit show. Yeah, it was a shit show. He trusted a fart and shouldn't have. And I bet you he learned a valuable lesson that day. And I don't ever, I never saw him again. So he if didn't it come back to the dojo. If it makes him feel better, there was one time where I shit myself on the. <laughs> I was driving with Marley, and I don't remember what I ate, bro. And this is the first time I've done this. I know I'm open. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> and I had trusted a fart, and I was driving, and I shit my pants just a little bit though, just a little bit, like a skid mark. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, Marley, I just shit my pants. She's like, no, you didn't. And I was like, yes, I did. And I was like, fuck it. I'm still going to Walmart anyways. <laughs> so I went shopping with a tiny skid mark in my underwear because I was not about to have to go from work home back to the place I was going. So I, yeah, yeah, it was. It was well, I mean, it, it is that big of an issue, too. Fucking, they do sell clothes at Walmart, so. Could have been, like, I was not to clothes. buy extra clothes. We are human. If somebody wants, it's like a stink bomb. Nobody's gonna talk to you. And half the time, I don't want nobody to talk to me. So leave yeah. me alone. I just shit my pants. My daughter's here. I'm just trying to get home and buy a few groceries. You know what would make you feel a lot better when you're feeling just really pissed about a lot of stuff? You could shit your pants. You just you just <laughs> need to stand there and shit your pants. Yeah. Like or be on the think about it. Like. What does it take mentally to say to yourself, like, when you're pissed and you just don't give a fuck about something, if you said to yourself, like, I'm going to poop my pants right now. <laughs> I'm going to shit my britches. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're making a choice. I could be on the receiving end of a Cleveland steamer. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. I didn't think about it that way, but now that you put it that way, yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to shit my pants right now. Sometimes you just got to shit your pants. There was actually a YouTube video I was watching where fucking um, he was interviewing this prostitute. This was like in L.A. Um, because I guess they decriminalized prostitution down there. 
and what fucking what? That's for you need to move. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking, I don't know where that pussy's been. <laughs> and fucking like she's she's like she said like she's had clients that fucking like wanted her to like shit, on shit and or piss on on them. Hell yeah. Golden shower. <laughs> No uh, and still get pooped on. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If it's your thing, that's cool. It's not my thing, but hey, you do you, boo boo. Just get pooped on. Live your best life. You want the Cleveland steamer? You want a fucking dirty Sanchez? You do you, boo boo. Fucking Japanese <laughs> rain goggles. Yep, all of it. All of it. Everything you do it all, you dirty bitch. You know that's what I never understood about. Like, what the fuck is the point of Japanese rain goggles? Fucking. Uh, hey, some people like the feeling of testicles on their eye sockets. I guess it's supposed to like tickle like, your balls because like like, their eyelashes are supposed to tickle their. Balls. I mean, I guess like you would have to have a chick wear so fucking that, uh, fake wait, eyelashes that, in order. It, but is that a win-win then? If it's so, the receiving end is like the balls on the eyes, and then like the you other balls end on your is balls. getting your balls tickled with some eyelashes. Who's I really winning? <laughs> Fucking, That's a lose-lose. Yeah. Unless fucking, you're it. Well, I don't know. Like, you're supposed to, like, fucking, like, drop your fucking hammer into their mouth, which I don't know how the fuck. Drop like, your what? Drop your dick into their mouth. And fucking, I don't even know how you're supposed to do that. Like, Wait, because you're at an awkward angle. Physics tell me otherwise. That it makes no sense. Yeah, because oh, it looks fucking... like you have something new to try. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Japanese spring goggles tonight. <laughs> I already know how it works, man. It's his favorite pastime. It's a hobby, really. <laughs> oh my god, fucking. Ugh. See, see what we fucking talk about. Fucking like this is the first episode of the podcast. We're talking about fucking people shitting their pants. <laughs> Hey, it's, a fucking... all, it's all in the title, man. Mr. Poopy Pants. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess hey, it is. Vlad, Vlad you got to you gotta tell us what the fuck. title of the show is. Sorry, fucking, as soon as, like, I was talking to you, here comes this fucking spider just fucking rappelling on a fucking... It's getting <laughs> ready to give you Japanese ring goggles. I heard you. He like, gives oh, Japanese ring goggles for no fucking spider. Choose me, choose me. It comes down with the flying V. I don't even know where that little I don't even know where that little fucker went, but you'll find somewhere behind you, my computer. He'll find you later when you yep. dropped in your mouth. Oh god. <laughs> you know, what was it? Um I remember uh what was it fucking Okay, Jay, have you ever like tasted what an ant tastes like? Yes. Oh, you have okay. No, different different kinds too. Like I, I remember when I was younger, I, I, I ate like one of those little tiny ones that you see, like a little. What are they called? I mean, like the a piss ant. Piss ant, little black, little black, little black. Oh one. yeah, we get the a little red one. Fucking, uh, I was actually getting them like right over here too. So. Those things are like the. Uh, if, I remember, you know, I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the desert. Like we were just bored kids, man. We would whatever. I dare to eat an ant, whatever. So I, you know, the little ones, bitter. They taste like pine. They smell like pine. And they smell like piss. And yeah. uh, uh, the 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 big fire ants, they don't taste as bad, but they're fucking gonna sting you. I wanna be like Ozzy Osbourne. I'm gonna snort some fire ants. Dude, I had a I had a pretty wild a uh, pretty pretty wild childhood growing up in the desert in New Mexico. Trust me, we have a. Hell episodes coming up with all the stories. Oh my god, fucking no, I've never had to deal with fire ants before. I've had to deal with like the carpenter ants, the big black ones, but you had to deal with piss like... ants at the Cleveland house. Oh, yeah, I get them here too. I mean, it's fucking we like... get them here too. They're, they're everywhere. They're, they're that's gross. another reason. That's another fucking reason why. Australia, I hate Australia. Like, I don't hate Australia. Like, I don't like hate Australians or anything like that, but just like fucking when it comes to their wildlife. 
Yeah. That's where those little fuckers came from was Australia. Little fuckers? They get all the big fuckers. Dude, yeah. if they the, get the camel the crazy spiders thing, and shit. The crazy thing is like No, they get they don't get camel spiders, they get huntsman spiders. What's yeah, the other one? The huntsman spiders, trapdoor spiders. Trapdoor spiders and shit. They got yeah. the lions. They get the funnel webs. They get funnel webs. Yeah. Yeah. They, they have Walk uh, into a funnel web spider like then. Nope. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. They're like a black widow. They got it's called false something widows? else. It's not a false widow. It's literally like a black widow. Same toxins and everything, but it's called something different. It has That's a violin right. on it. It's red and black. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't know. It happens. The best story. Yeah. Did you know was that their army lost a war to emus? Brandon. <laughs> I did I, not fucking look what? it up. They lost a fucking war to emus. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Get punched in the face by Kangaroo Jack. I don't know what to say about that, man. I have no idea. That sounds crazy. That sounds fun. Uh, you know, what are we doing here? I mean, an I'll e fight an emu. An emu will. They'll like they're like a velociraptor. It's like They'll a cut giant. You open with their giant it's ass like paw. my giant douchebag rooster. I will fight the fuck out of you. Yeah, it's kind of bring like an ostrich. Awesome bring man. Farmer Ashley there. I'll fuck this shit up. We're fucking uh, what is it? Kangaroos? Fucking those fuckers will box you too. Mm -hmm. I will punch <laughs> the kangaroo in the face. <laughs> you got to be careful though. They'll drop kick you and fucking they can like seriously like there's so much force they'll break your ribs. Fucking, they'll disembowel they you. What? They actually have long ass dagger toenails that's like really long that look like a spike and they'll actually tear your insides up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, they'll rip through your stomach. Oh like, yeah. Well, this looks like it's been a shit show. <laughs> like I'm talking about kangaroos and shit. But um yeah, I would say fucking. I wish we had like a mailbag to do or something, but we're not we're not quite there with our fan base or any anything. We'll get there. Once we get enough, you know, I get enough like subscribers and shit. Maybe we can we can do that. We so, got you, Vlad. We're here. And two hours away from me. <laughs> Only. Oh, that, that's what I want to talk about. To, talk to you about too was, and I'm hoping this doesn't fucking happen. But there's like a fire that just started like near mount hood of course and i'm just hoping praying to god that it doesn't get so bad to where they have to shut down 26 oh so then i'm gonna have like no way to get to yeah we could we could talk about that offline the, hey there's another way yeah. around buddy yeah, yeah we'll figure it out we'll talk about it offline i'll come get you via what do you call those drone drone we're gonna, we're gonna come over and pick you up like a claw. It's gonna take like six drones to pick me up. Maybe more. <laughs> I would say eight, but you know, just because you're tall as shit. I wish I had my own private fucking plane. Shit, I just fucking fly to where your guys are at. Fucking. You just gotta get rich, Vlad. Yeah, fucking, or even a fucking jet. Fucking, if I took like a fucking like, was it F fifteen down there? It probably took me only thirty minutes. Absolutely. I think it'd be faster than that. Really? I do, I do, yeah. I think it would huh. be, I think it'd be faster than that. Point A to point B in 245. They, they arc up into the sky and then they come back down to where they're going to go and like that process shortens the distance for the for the jet somehow because they can hit faster speeds. It's a different, yeah. whole, whole different beast. Actually, I was thinking of a fighter jet. Maybe that's not how passenger jets work. You need to bring back, was it the fucking Concorde? That they need to bring back, which was like a fucking like, supersonic passenger jet they used to have. But God, that'd be a stick if they brought that back. But uh, do you guys any have anything else? Um, I think we've been talking for almost an hour, so that's why I'm asking. Do you guys have any anything else you want to add? Or I don't think so, man. Probably have some stories for the next time. I have yeah, definitely. Stories. Um. And next time I'll probably be at, like headed back to work. Maybe I'll have some stories from work. Who knows? Um, just you know, obviously I took took a leave of absence, uh, but I'm planning to go back to work sometime this coming week. Um, 
and probably Wednesday I'm hoping to get back to work. So hopefully I'll have something knowing my job. Who the fuck knows? So, but anyways, guys, if you don't have anything else, um, also I'm going to text you here in a little bit. See if you guys are up or playing Diablo. Let's play, bro. <laughs> Which I want to do is that's actually a good thing you brought up was doing a uh, series of that because that'd be yes, awesome to do. I'm about that. to start Twitch soon, so not sponsored. Not sponsored, <laughs> but yeah. So fucking maybe there's a way we can like hook our t Twitches up together or something. I, I don't we know. can. There's, there's I don't like little... fucking there's a way to do it. I've seen how it's done. Like people are I... able to like do a split screen of playing video games and shit. You just need to look up some stuff for your capture card. But yeah, I'm hooking mine up to my Xbox and my computer, but I'm playing my Xbox through my monitor. Um I have an idea how to set it up. Once I get all just the... call Jay, Daddy Jay over here and he'll help run you through it. Once I get all the software downloaded on her on her system, then I'll I'll share the files with you and then you can do the same thing or mirror each other that way we're using, yep. if we're using the same apps then like we're gonna the the system will synchronize better all right Got for you. sure fucking yeah that's gonna be it's uh, something tells me it's gonna be a bitch to set up but i mean as long as it gets set up that's what matters it's okay jay's got you either way to the fans welcome to the shit show i fucking love it <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Uh, All right. Fucking, uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. So probably, yeah, episode two, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but um, it's going to be funny too. I, I hope to get some new like equipment. Like I want to get a better microphone um, and then we can get you guys like set up your computer set up and fucking, you know, you can actually do it from, uh, from uh, your, your desk. And, uh, all that so but anyways guys i'll talk to you later this has been episode one of the vlad mavis podcast um hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more make sure you like and subscribe because if you don't i will find you and i will come into your house and tear you apart if you do not subscribe and flush you down the toilet he might poop on you flush your innards down the toilet there we go <laughs> All Until right. next time, I'm Vlad Mavis. See you guys next time. See ya. See ya.